So how do you eventually get out? It's a freaky thing. It takes about a day. And what you do is you take, so we were living in this habitat and it was kind of like a submarine on the bottom of the ocean, but it didn't have a motor. So it was just like stuck on the floor, like a big, like a big uh, cylinder. And it had a hole cut in the side here. And, um, and the only thing that was keeping the ocean out was the air pressure inside. Whoa. Kind of like taking a cup and flipping it over, putting it in the bathtub and trapping the air. Oh, God. And you just scuba dive on down, and then you swim into that thing. And then if then once you pop up in that hole, it's like you're in a swimming pool inside the habitat. And then you just step out into the habitat. Whoa. It's, have you ever seen the movie uh, The Abyss? Yes. It, it's it, like that. Like, it's like that. Oh. Yeah. How accurate is that movie? I think, uh, what, what's the guy, what's the Navy SEAL in there? He gets like... like uh, he gets crazy from the bends. He gets bends. like... like uh, what do they call it? Uh, deep dementia or something? Yeah. Is that fake? Yeah, that's fake. Damn. <laughs> Goddamn Hollywood. <laughs> so this process of getting back to surface level, how long, you said it takes a day. What do you have to do? So what you do is you close up that hole and you convert the habitat into a pressure chamber. And what you do is you very, very slowly bring the pressure back to sea level. So you decrease the pressure and you slowly, as if, as if you're slowly, slowly going up in the water column. And then over, as you do it gradually, the, the nitrogen slowly comes out of your blood, and you can feel it. It kind of tingles. Oh, wow. Over the course of a day, you just lie. You try to lie still in your bunk and just, like, read a book or something, and, but you feel, like, this tingling. And then after about a day of that, they get you all the way back to sea level slowly so that the nitrogen – What you know what it is? It's like if you take a can of soda and you shake it up, if you open, a, you open the top quickly – Right. Right? But if you open the top really slowly – and you let it slowly come out. You don't get all the bubbles. Right. It's 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 that same effect. Ah, that's a that's a great analogy. 